So now let's take a look at how to dial these into your room. Let's take a look at the EQ options. Right now, I'm here at my home screen again. I'm hitting the center of the function knob. I'm gonna hit it again because I'm on the EQ window. And I'm gonna go to my low frequencies. Let's see what we can control there. There's the low selected there. The first one is going to be the low shelf cut. That's gonna roll off low end when the monitors are too close to the walls, okay? And then option number two, you still have that low end roll off, but we also introduce a 200 Hertz desk filter. Next one, flat, just like what it sounds like, nice and clean and nothing's altered here in case your room is super dialed in. And then EQ4, we're gonna be uh, in the parametric mode here. So you've got a wide Q centered at 200 Hertz for that desk filter. This is basically gonna minimize low end uh, mid buildup or muddiness that can occur when you've got those monitors sitting on a desktop. And then finally at the end, we've got EQ5, which is your low shelf 2 dB boost. Basically, if you need a little bit more low end, it's up to you, it's your preference here. So just like you can adjust those options on the low end frequencies, we can also do that with the high frequencies. All I got to do here is instead of being in the low mode, I just scroll over there with my function button. It says high EQ. Same thing applies here. I can choose to take away highs or I can choose to increase highs. So if you've got a less optimized acoustic space, or maybe your room has a lot of reflections or is bright sounding, you can take away some highs. And then on the other hand, if you wanna increase the highs, maybe you've got a dark sounding room or a room that might be overly dampened, you can do all that here. <laughs>